Minecraft Programming, Module 5, Electricity in Minecraft, Programming with no programming. Redstone, Redstone Circuits. Redstone is Minecraft's version of electricity. Redstone can allow players to build many things, from working doors and music machines to block robots and even computers. Electric Items Redstone Redstone is a Minecraft conductor and power source. It can be used to create amazing inventions, such as working computers or factories, once you know the basics. A dispenser is a special redstone-powered block. When it is left-clicked, a menu allows a player to place items inside it, such as arrows, splash potions, eggs, fire chargers, and snowballs. Dispensers can contain up to nine different stacks of items, and the dispensing behavior is random. Dispensers can attack things if they contain arrows, snowballs, or any other throwable items. The dispenser crafting recipe needs seven cobblestone, one piece of redstone, and a bow. The bow's durability is irrelevant. A redstone lamp is a block that produces light when activated with a redstone signal. The redstone lamp crafting recipe needs one glowstone in the middle, and then four pieces of redstone around it. This is a block of glowstone, not glowstone dust. Redstone dust. Redstone dust is an item that you would normally find and gather in the game. However, you can also make redstone dust with a crafting table as well as a furnace or a blast furnace. You can either get a block of redstone and then use the crafting menu to turn it into nine dust, or you can smelt redstone ore. A lever is a transparent block that can provide switchable redstone power. To activate or deactivate a lever, use the use item place block control, left click by default. A lever can be turned on and off as fast as it can be clicked. The crafting recipe requires one stick and one piece of cobblestone. A button is a transparent block that can provide temporary redstone power. A button can be used as a monostable power source, meaning it automatically deactivates shortly after being activated. The crafting recipe only requires one block of stone or wood or any material you are using to make the button. A pressure plate is a transparent block that can be used to detect players, mobs, items, etc. It has four variants. A wooden pressure plate can detect all entities, giving out a signal strength of 15 when one is atop it. Stone pressure plates can detect only players and mobs, giving out a maximum signal strength, just like its wooden counterpart. Light-weighted pressure plates can detect all entities, and the signal strength that it outputs increases as more entities are added. Heavy-weighted pressure plates are similar to the light-weighted pressure plates, but measures groups of 10 entities. The pressure plate crafting recipe needs two blocks of a material, such as, say, wood, stone, metals, etc. A piston is a block capable of pushing blocks, players, and mobs when given a redstone pulse. A sticky piston has the same function as a piston, but can also pull the block on its face back when it retracts, unlike the regular piston, which leaves the push block in place. The piston crafting recipe has three wooden planks on top, as well as four stone, two on the sides, and one iron ingot in the middle, and one piece of redstone on the bottom. To make a sticky piston, you take the piston and put that in the crafting table, then put a slime block with it. A daylight sensor is a redstone block in Minecraft. 
It functions as a light detector or solar panel of sorts. A daylight sensor gives an analog redstone output. In early morning, the signal is only enough to light up about five tiles of redstone dust. At midday, it strengthens to 15 blocks. When left clicked, the daylight sensor will turn blue and activate at night instead of day. The crafting recipe needs four wooden slabs at the bottom, three quartz in the middle, and three glass on top. Activities Electric systems in Minecraft. Now we are going to make some simple electrical systems. Go to the next video to see these systems. Today we are going to be showcasing some basic redstone here. Some dust and a lever. We are also going to have some redstone lamps and the redstone circuits here, they cannot go for longer than 14 blocks. So if you place, say, 15 blocks of redstone and then try to power something at the end, it won't work. Unless you place, like, the lever or whatever you're using right next to it. You can also put some lamps on the side like this and one lever works for all of them. When you turn on the lever though, you notice that the redstone dust itself gets darker and darker. It's like it's getting weaker. And this is because at the end here, you can see that it's no, not powered anymore. It's just like the regular redstone placed without any power. Which is why we put a repeater. This will extend how far the signal will go to some more blocks.
With the help of repeaters, we can make huge circuits like this. Doors can also be controlled with redstone. So you can see here if we place some redstone and then a lever, flip the lever on, that will open the door. We can, this is mainly useful for iron doors which cannot be opened using say your hand.